Well, hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Nichols and Tops the Monkey. And we have another story for you. It is called Pink Pig, and it is a DRA level two. To get started, we know that the story is about a pink pig. That's the character in the story, and that's obvious because it's a title, and you see a picture of the pink pig. We're going to go ahead and say that it is a girl. All right, let's go ahead and do a picture book walk. That sounds good? Okay, tops agrees. We should do a picture book walk. All right, so the book is written by Tim Anton, and it is illustrated by Sheila Lucas. On this page, we see that the pink pig is a happy little pig. She's out in the bright sunshine, and she looks like she just loves being outdoors. On this page, we see that she is riding her bike. So at the beginning of the story, the pink pig was riding her bike. On this page, she is looking at some flowers, like she's trying to decide what she's going to be doing. And she decides she's going to hide from these two characters that show up. And she's giggling because she doesn't want them to know that she's there watching them. On this page, she's inside her house and she's putting on what I would consider a bib. She's going to be painting and she doesn't want the paint to get on her clothes. So what have we learned so far? We learned that at the beginning of the story, she was riding her bike. After that, the middle part of the story is that she was hiding. Now we find out that she's going to paint. And let's see what happens at the end of the story. Oh, she got some purple paint on herself. So instead of thinking that she was a pink pig, she's no longer a pink pig. She considers herself a purple pig. And that's how our story ends. All right, so we were able to gather a lot of information about this story, right, Tops? Just by looking at the pictures. And we understood how the story began, beginning. We understood two events that took place in the middle. And then we saw how the story ended. That's known as sequencing. That's when you, the story flows in a certain way. You have your beginning with your character, things that your character did at the beginning. You have things that your character did in the middle part of the story leading up to the end of the story. And in this situation, she got some paint and then it ended with her painting, getting paint on herself and calling herself a purple pig. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to count the number of words on each of these pages. Yeah, we've got, we know what the story's about now, and that is going to help us figure out words on the page, but we also need to be able to identify words on the page. And that means counting words. All right, so as we open up the book, let's see how many words are on the page. We have one, two, three, four, four words on this page. Notice that they repeat. This word is the same as this word, except this has an uppercase P, where this has a lowercase P, but they're the same word. And here, this word is the same as this word. So in other words, children, if you know what this word is, then you should be able to know what this word is, because it's the same one. 
It's the same word. Same thing here and here. As we turn the page, we see that this page has one, two, three words, but they're the same exact word. So if you can figure out what this word is, then you should be able to read the rest of the page. And the words are separated by a comma here and a comma here, except at the end you have a period. We turn the page and we notice that we have how many words? We have one, two, three, four words. But if we are really paying attention, we can see that these words are the same exact words that were on page two. Let's go back to page two and verify that. See, they're the same words. They just happen to show up on page number four. There's page four. As we go to page number five, we see that we have three words, one, two, three, and they're separated by commas. And so if we know what this word is, then we can read the rest of the page because of the same word again and again. And this is like a pattern because on page number three, you also had three words. As we turn to page number six, we have how many words? We have one, two, three, four words. And again, children, they're the same exact words we saw on page two and page four. So you shouldn't have any problem following along with me and reading with me when it's us when it's our turn to read together because you're using a lot of the same words over and over again. It's which is known as repetition, repeating. So as we turn the page, we see again, we see three words, one, two, three, but they're all the same exact word and they're separated by commas. And then once again, children, if you can figure this word out, then you can read the rest of the page. And then finally, the last page, we have just two words, one, two, and then we have the exclamation mark showing excitement, showing um, in her situation, she is excited over the fact that she got some purple paint on herself and so she can call herself a purple pig. All right, let's go ahead and read this story together. Pink pig. Now, if we know this is pink, if you can remember this is pink and you can remember this is pig, from this title, it's going to help you to figure out words that are in this book. Let's turn the page. Oh, look at this. What do we have here? We have pink <laughs> pig. And again, we have pink pig. We turn the page. And we can see in the picture, she's riding her bike. But this word is not riding, it's ride. Ride, ride, ride. We turn the page. Oh, see, we already know those words from page two. Let's go ahead and read. Pink pig, pink pig. <coughs> Excuse me. And then on this page, what is she doing? She's hiding. But this word is not hiding. This word is hide. Hide, hide, hide.
Oh, we shouldn't have any problem with this page. You should have no problem reading with me, guys. Pink, pig, pink, pig. And we turn the page. What do we see on this page? What's this here? Paint. 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 And then finally, we have just two words on this page. We should be able to figure this word out because of the paint. Purple. Purple pig. All right, let's go back and read it together. Okay, let's read it together. Per All right, let's go get started. Pink pig. All right, we should have no trouble reading this book. No trouble at all. Now you can enjoy reading because you know the words. Pink pig pink pig. Ride ride. Pink Pig, pink, pig. Hide, hide, hide. Pink, pig, pink, pig. Paint, paint, paint. Purple pig. Tell me, Tops, would you want to be purple like the pig in the in the story? Hmm? No, he says he likes the way he looks. He doesn't need to have any paint on him. He loves his color. I do too. I like your color also. All right, so. In this story, we learned about repetition. We learned about words that show up in a story that repeat. And we can use that to our advantage when we're reading. We also looked at the pictures. To, we also did a picture book walk and understood what the story was about. We focused on beginning, middle, and ending. And, those, and, the, and that helped us to know about the story so that if you know the story and you understand the story, you can apply that knowledge in figuring words out. So we had more than one skill here that we use today to read this book together, The Pink Pig. Now just go to our website, topsthemonkey.com, and there's a free sequence activity that goes with this book. See you later. Top says he sees you later too. Bye-bye.